Hi, I'm Dave Dutman, and we're staying in front of 2704 Northeast 4th Place. In our ongoing video series here today of Post Ian, Hurricane Ian, we are two weeks after Hurricane Ian. We are touring Cape Coral, which is, uh, it was such a large hurricane, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, that whole area uh, was the epicenter. And uh, so caught uh, uh, winds two miles short of a Category 5, it was one of the strongest Category 4s to hit the state. Definitely the strongest hurricane ever hit this area in the history of this area. I lived in Cape Coral for 17 years, still do. I travel back and forth between here and Wisconsin, and I was fortunate enough to be in Wisconsin when the hurricane hit. So this is my first trip down to assess the damage to all of our properties. And uh, let's spin the camera on and take a look at this one. And as we come around a bit, the house actually fared extremely well. Uh, and we have seen this going on today on all of our homes, if you've been following along on our videos, that uh, we really have been blessed to have this little damage. So God is definitely watching out for us, our friends, and our investors. I can see that the porta potty over here didn't do so well. So that's the porta potty, or what's left of it. But then the sign is gone. But they did manage to get the roof on. What was happening was a lot of houses, the concrete block was collapsing in and of itself because there was nothing to hold it. And uh, we, we saw several of that today. But they did get the roof on since we were here last. The tar paper looks great. I can't tell you if the tar paper just went on post or, or pre-Ian. My guess is it probably went on post-Ian because I'm surprised it wouldn't be ripped worse. And I see a bucket up there. The sun can't, doesn't hit you right there, so... That bucket most definitely would have gone flying, in my opinion. Coming in here, got all of our wiring runs are done. Our telephone lines are in. Uh, cable lines are in. And our plumbing is roughed in. So that's really something to see. Surprised that that much is done. And uh, this will all be breakers eventually. First they run the wires, and then they put the breakers in. See, they foam around everything. As they run it in, they'll uh, cut that down. This is for the water heater here. And our HVAC system will go up there with all the ductwork. That'll be the next thing. Lots of debris. You can see the sand and debris from the high winds coming through. No windows in the house, so nothing to stop the wind, but that's a good thing. So I come in that side, blow straight out this side. And as the correct hurricane turned around, came back this way again. So this house took a double beating. And look at the condition it's in. Uh, it really is a testament to good construction because you can see everything is in really nice shape, aside from the debris on the floor. And if this is the worst hurricane debris we're gonna have, this isn't bad. You can see where canister lightings are lined up in there. This is gonna be the kitchen, pantry, a little island over here. Coming back here, windows were delivered, just not installed yet and not damaged, just laying there. So the winds must have been far enough away over to the, away from the window don't have to worry about any damages. So that's pretty amazing. Guest bathroom here. They always uh, run water to test the tub, and that water's been sitting in there probably from before Ian. Another bedroom here. The bedrooms are going to have tray ceilings, as you can see up there. But again, just aside from some, some debris, nothing broken, nothing destroyed. And that is just really. Uh, God watching out for us. Take a walk over here. Everything looking good. No leaks. This is a den over here. Coming over here. Our master. It's our master shower straight ahead. Have a his and hers sinks. But everything really fared extremely well. And then coming over here. Our lanai out here. I think looking good up there. And uh, there will be a pool here. There's another new one going up over there. Lots of new construction in the area. But you can see the whole back and roof and everything. So truly, truly blessed here. Truly blessed. So that does it for me, Dave Detman from Landshark Real Estate Group, taking you a walk through. And uh, again, can't stress blessed enough. 
So hit that subscribe button on there so you can continue on with us in our journey here of looking at the post-Hurricane Ian homes that uh, we're working on down here in Florida. If you'd be interested in more information on one of these homes, contact me in the information you see coming up on the screen. Other than that, we're off to the next one. Why don't you come along? God bless. Bye-bye.